We are currently in a video series, Purging, Decluttering, Cleaning, and Resetting My Home. I recently became overwhelmed with how much I had to do. As a mom of seven kiddos, it's not hard to do that, but I really wanted to reclaim some of my brain space and space in my home. So that's what sparked the series, and let's go ahead and get into it. Hello! Um, I am Cassidy and today we are going to continue on in our decluttering, purging, cleaning, organizing um, journey through my house and I'm going to be completely honest I've been putting this off a little bit procrastinating a bit um, because I think that I was overly zealous with what I had planned to do when I was thinking oh I can get to a different area or a different room every day and you know in a matter of two weeks I'll have everything cleaned and it just uh, didn't work that way I am a homeschooling mama of seven kiddos um, I do get overstimulated very quickly and overwhelmed and I think that I just did too much. I bit off more than I can chew. So we're slowing it down a little bit um, and more just like I think that I've been kind of averaging every couple days being able to get to something um, and, and really trying to prioritize it but then again like life happens, things happen and I can't always do that and I'm not going to stress myself out. That's something that I'm working on um, as far as like being stressed and overwhelmed and just over, I don't know, just all of the things that I've been struggling with as far as like just feeling like I'm kind of like failing um, or, or at least coming up short. Um, and so we're just going to do what we can do and celebrate what we get done and we're not going to focus on every little thing that we're not getting done so that's our goal that's what we're focusing on here if that's something that you would like to join in on then give this video a like i'd really appreciate it and i'll share it with more mamas who maybe need some more encouragement such as this um and we're just going to slowly work on these areas i do not have a big budget i do not have a pristine house and like i said i do have seven kids three of which are toddlers or well two are toddlers one is a baby uh that you've seen earlier malachi he is nine months and then I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old. So it gets pretty chaotic and pretty crazy and messy here. Um, and so I just want to be real and upfront. Like you're not going to see those like Pinterest, Instagram worthy homes. That's not what we have here. And I'm not about presenting it that way. I'm about being open and vulnerable and honest and giving you guys a real good like inside peek at what goes on in a large family home. So I'm staring at this mess here. Um, I have my son, he's been putting his shoes here and some, um, I don't know what they're called, um, racks, uh, braces, I don't know what to call it, uh, for shelves, um, that we're gonna have to put away for another time. It was from our previous house, um, and we're renting here, so we don't own and I don't want to add any more holes or anything, um, if I can do without that. And then I have my, um, three-year-old's clothes here in these baskets, a plant that I probably should move, clutter and cleaning and stuff that needs to be moved, a laundry basket, my doggie's kennel for now, or crate, um, and then we have this lovely place. So originally when we moved in, we were just kind of like storing things here until we got to them, um, and now it's just like the place that things go to die. So. I need to go through all of that, purge the things that we don't need, and then just do some like tidying and cleaning. Um, this is literally my favorite area. I love this wallpaper so, so much. I have thought about putting um, like a shelf up above this window here uh, that I'll have to check with the owners on because I think it would be so pretty to put some like books, maybe some plants or things here. Um, over this window um, and originally this was going to be like a reading nook but until I can figure out another place to put her uh, I don't know so maybe if I can maneuver away over there but I don't want to lose storage so she may have to find a new home I'm not sure maybe down on the main floor or down in the basement we'll see um, but yeah so this is this is my project for today this is what I'm going to be working on and then we also have this like linen shelfy I don't know what to call this um closet shelf area they're very very thin shelves um and so we need to do something with that also I'm not going to get into the kids' rooms or into the bathroom I'm literally just going to focus on this little space because I feel like that is a win and that's going to be um you know somewhat manageable and that is what I'm about here right now so 
let's go ahead and start cleaning and purging. stuff out of that one area normally in my purging experience I have learned for myself personally I don't know about for everybody you might do this differently um, if you do then let me know down in the comments how it works out for you but I've learned to work on one area at a time and normally if this shelf wasn't broken I would have worked like one shelf at a time so that way as I pull things out I'm not getting overwhelmed by how much stuff there is but as you can see as I was pulling that out there was a ton of stuff there and then in between this, the little baby break, he needed some milk. Good job! Okay, so my goal here is to just get everything in front of me and then start a pile for giveaway, a pile that we're going to end up keeping, um, a pile for trash, and then as you'll see me go through some of this stuff, I'm making individual piles for Malachi, who has some clothes handed down from Asher, my two-year-old. And then clothes for me to give away to my friend who has um, recently had a baby boy that I don't need a lot of my stuff from Malachi for, like the newborn three, zero to three, three to six month phase. And then I have um, a seven year old who is passing on her last year's stuff down to my three, almost four year old and my nine year old down to my seven year old, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of stuff that was like hand-me-downs that I needed to go through. Okay, are you guys like me when you see um, any kind of mementos or sentimental things you got to kind of take a look? I realized that I was going to get sucked into it, so I quickly put it away to the side as you see the uh, album next to me, and then I just kept going through these bags. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just sorting um, into piles and locating those where they need to go. It's a feeling that I find It's a feeling 
after getting the clothes into the um, piles that I needed to get them into, I went ahead and sat down with the girls to see what they actually wanted to keep, um, what was worth keeping, what they wanted to hand down, the, that kind of thing. So just working through them to figure out what was worth saving and what I needed to just go ahead and purge. And then here, my oldest son is helping me get some stuff situated and organized that needs to go out to the garage and then what needs to go to the trash can. I really appreciate his help. It made it a lot easier to stay focused and stay on task having them help me out. Um, they usually do help me with chores, but on big tasks like this, when I really need to stay focused, I really, really appreciate their help. This was a two-day process, if you haven't noticed the difference in clothes. Um, I just want to be upfront and clear with that. Like I said, I'm trying to work hard on not being overwhelmed and celebrating the wins and not getting caught up in, you know, plans and stuff like that not going the way I want them to. So. Um, now that I have cleaned out the back part of the stair um, shelf area that gotten through that pile gotten through the pile down on the floor where my son's shoes were I'm just working on the linen shelf. Um, I'm going through getting things kind of like organized in category and then you'll see me I will um, Kind of change it up a little bit reorganize and I'm gonna lower down a shelf I'm having my son help me go through the shoes because I don't know which ones he prefers, what ones he don't fit or don't like, and I think that it's really helpful having your kids kind of help you go through that so that way you're not guessing. quick little coffee drinking break and then I'm putting away the clothes that I have for Evelyn, my three-year-old. Um, she's more of like a four or five size and these are the hand-me-downs from my seven-year-old who has the five size um, to pass down. space so I think I'll put it here but I'm just trying to figure out like I'm newer to the styling part of homemaking like making it look appealing to the eye and not just like what I think or what I like so I'm gonna put that here for now I think that that looks good I think that it won't get messed with here Okay, so now that I have everything cleaned out and purged and all of that, now we can go down to like the organizing and the decorating. Um, this is, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but this is one of my very favorite spaces in this house. This wallpaper specifically, like I love it. Um, and I want to stay true to this time period as I like decorate or add things. Um, I would love to put like, I don't know how I would do it. Just like a little chair of some sort. Um, maybe like in the corner, move the 
dog's crate downstairs like I had thought in the past and make that kind of like a little reading nook. Um, but I really love this area. There's so much sunlight that comes in through that window. And in North Idaho, that is like, that's gold right there. Um, but again, we're renters, so we can't really do a whole lot of permanent stuff. Um, these walls are better, I think, um, for like putting bookshelves or something on, but I would not want to ruin this. <laughs> Um, so we'll see. I, I'm gonna look into some things that I have, like some boards and stuff that I've pinned on Pinterest of ideas of like how to style different things, like organizing, um, shelves and whatnot. And so I'll see, I'll see what I can do with what I have, trying to repurpose things around the house, like moving plants or whatever into other spaces. Um... Yeah, I'm getting, um, I was putting this off for a while because I'm so overwhelmed by the idea of it all. But now that it's all cleaned out, it's like, it gives you that like boost of confidence that you need uh, to just like keep going. So now that I have the upstairs rooms done that I've been wanting to get done, I still need to get into my son's room, but I'll wait for that. Um, no rush on that one. I do need to get down in the schoolroom, and let me tell you, that is an epic mess. Um, that's gonna take a lot of work. Hey, what what is he fussing for? Is he stuck? So, I'm gonna go check some. Pinterest boards and look around the house and see what I have. Probably um, feed the baby because I'm pretty sure that's what he wants. Maybe a nap. Not yet. Um, and then if I, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we will reconvene after I find something. And if not, then I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna relocate the things down here so that way we have them closer to where we're doing things. Uh uh, Penny! Aries, Penny! I got him! Yeah, come bring me Kai. Uh, girls, we need to tidy up the. Here, hold this. Oops. Give that to the trash. Choose the chest, choose the chest, choose the choose the choose the chest. No, I didn't. Yeah. Say so hello. I need my double changed. I need my double changed. Uh, it goes downstairs in the basement because I have to wash it. Ma'am, can you please go head down to the living room and start tidying it up? Yeah, Mama. Huh? Oh, the laundry basket was there, and then the plant was where the laundry basket is. 
Does it look better? You don't know? Does it look cleaner? Okay, is that good? <laughs> well, no help on that front. Okay, let's change this diaper. After sitting here for a few minutes trying to figure out what else I can do besides that um, because I'm limited as far as like what I can do I can like I don't know it's hard to find things I want to find like something like an older dresser or like something like that that will go here instead of that cube but until then this is all I can do um, because we're renters there's not a lot of options that we like, I don't want to go messing with anything or trying to, like, screw something in this wall and it fall down or break a wall or something. So, but I need to end it here because today is my oldest son's birthday. He's turning 12. And I need to go pick up pizza and take him to jujitsu and still have his presents while he's there. So when he gets home, <laughs> we can do that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this. And... I hope I see you guys in the next one of the purging, cleaning, and resetting my life series. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like because it'll help me out and it'll spread this to other mamas who maybe are looking for the same thing, uh, whether it's encouragement, motivation, or just entertainment. Um, and if you're not subscribed, then please do so so that I can give you more videos of encouragement, inspiration, motivation, or just giggles. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.